you guys welcome back hey hey what's going on what's your popping okay so today i wanted to play around in some new goodies okay look i'm gonna be honest with y'all i got a few new goodies okay your girl's been doing a little shopping okay ulta done had their little 20 percent off sale you know a little some, few things i have my eye on at sephora so i don't know you know when you kind of take a little hiatus and then you know you just kind of jump back in and then you go crazy but anyway so i do have a haul coming up of some items that i've purchased but i couldn't wait y'all i wanted to play in some of this stuff one of these items was a gift from a very lovely friend of mine and the other one i purchased okay and it wasn't cheap <laughs> so well neither of these items is cheap but anyway hey hey what's going on so the first item that I'm playing in today, which of course you guys can see, I already did my face, I already did my makeup, it's done, okay, so. But I am gonna go ahead and, you know, walk you guys through how I did this look today. So what I used to create this look today is this Natasha Denona Sunrise Palette, okay. Look, I know I'm gonna lay bus. Don't be saying, KK, we done seen it a million times. We don't already know you late. I know I'm late, okay. But there's a good reason why I'm late. <laughs> First of all, my girl DJ got me this palette, okay? She is just so sweet. She got me this palette. But the story behind this palette, I wanted this palette so bad when it came out, you guys. Y'all see this. Y'all know how pretty it is. It's bomb. But I wanted this palette so bad. And if you're a regular viewer of mine, you know I was out of town for about two weeks last week. And this mug was not available within three hours of the town that I was in, okay? So, y'all know, I was just out there stressing, okay? Unhappy. Yes, it's just makeup, but I love makeup, okay? So, I could not even get this palette, okay? And I didn't want to have it shipped to me and all that stuff because I didn't know if it was going to get there before I left, yada, yada, yada. So, anyways, I'm pretty sure my girl DJ was tired of me whining and crying. <laughs> She actually got me this palette and sent it to me right when I got home. So anyways, thank you, boo. That was just really nice. Y'all, ain't it something to have good friends? It really is. But anyway, so I'm playing in this palette today, okay? And it's gorgeous. I created this look with it. Hopefully you guys like it. But the other palette that I just came across last week and when I saw it on Instagram, you guys, I about passed out. You guys ever come across a makeup item and it's just like you see the colors or you see the layout and your heart just skips a beat so you just like you know you have to have it your money may as well just leave your account right that second because you know you buying it this was that palette you guys this is the sephora pro face palette i didn't even know they had face palettes so i'm assuming that it's brand new because i didn't know they had them I have a couple of the Sephora Pro eyeshadow palettes, which I love dearly. They're gorgeous, beautiful, and amazing. But when I saw this face palette, you guys, I don't know if I saw it on Instagram or I saw somebody else with it. I don't know, y'all. But this mug was so pretty to me. I had to have it immediately. I knew I was buying it. And they have three different options to choose from, light, medium, and deep. This is the deep, okay? Y'all know I got the deep. <laughs> so, this is what she looks like, you guys. There's blush in here, highlight, bronzer, contour, just all kind of beautiful stuff to play with, okay? So, I decided to go ahead and use this palette on my face today. So, if I look a little bit more contoured, a little bit more blushy <laughs> or whatever, this is why because i wanted to play in it today show you guys you know what it could do so if you have seen this and you're not sure if you want it or you know you're just curious about it or maybe you don't know about it but now i will say it's 58 dollars mm. it's 58 dollars okay <laughs> so it's not cheap of course you can see these pans are huge and it is a sephora pro palette and their sephora pro palettes are a bit more pricey okay but y'all this mug is the bomb okay i love it it's gorgeous of course i want to play in it some more but i really like what it did to my face today so 
anyway this is the face palette I'm using today so those are the two items that I just wanted to kind of jump into today play around with have some fun and just kind of do a quick little voiceover for you guys so I know look I know if you're a regular viewer y'all probably you probably looking at my shirt like really KK you don't even wear lashes but you gonna have them on your shirt yes I'm gonna have them on my shirt I think they cute <laughs> But anyway, enough of me yak, yak, yakking, okay? Let's go ahead and just jump into this look. I did start out with some swatches you guys I forgot to include them in the first part of the video so I apologize for that but I'm starting out this look with the no problem prime essence I got this in my boxy luxe so I wanted to try it out and it is very very nice and I'm using my Vaseline lip therapy on my lips before I get started so I'm going in with my LA Girl Slim Shady Brow Pencil to fill in my brows today. And this is in the color Blackest Brown. Now to clean up my brows, I'm using my Milani Retouch and Erase. I don't normally use this to clean up my brows because it's a lot lighter than I like for my concealer on my eyes to be. But I went ahead and drug it down so I can set my eyelids with it today as well since it is so light. And I'm using a translucent powder to set that concealer in place. Now to start out this look in this beautiful sunrise palette, I am using the color Jasper. It's a gorgeous burnt orange shade and I'm just placing that in my crease area and just gently blending it out and making sure that the crease is nice and pigmented but I want to kind of have it to diffuse in the upper port the upper part of my eyelid now to deepen the outer corner and the crease I'm going into the shade clove which is a beautiful I guess it's like a deep plum or burgundy shade but I'm using that to deepen that crease and that outer corner a lot with a nice dense blending brush. And I must say you guys, these shades blend so nicely together. They're just really, really easy to work with. I'm going back in with the brush that has Jasper on it and just diffusing the outer portion of this eyelid. Now for my first shimmer, I'm going into Day Spring. And I'm not even spraying my brush for these shimmers, you guys. I'm just placing them on my lid because I wanted to see how they will perform without me spraying my brush. And they're actually very, very pretty. I can only assume that if I did spray my brush that it would pop even more. But this was enough for the look that I was creating today. I wanted to do something kind of simple and easy. Now I'm going into the shade Poppy, which is another gorgeous shimmer shade. And this one is more of the plum colored shimmer. And I'm just blending that into Day Spring. Now I'm deepening the crease with Clove again. And I'm gonna go ahead and complete my complexion with my foundation and concealer so we can finish these eyes and move on to the face palette. Now to highlight, I'm using the shade Laurel, and I'm going to use that on my brow bone as well as the inner corner of my eyes. And as you can see, it's really, really popping nicely on my brow bone. I thought it was so pretty. So I just used a fluffy brush in my inner corner because I wanted a more soft highlight there. This palette, you guys, very, very nice. I'm very impressed with it. Now let's move on to this Sephora Pro Face Palette. So to start out, I'm going into the shade Jet Setter, and I'm going to try and bronze a little bit. <laughs> I'm already a little bronzed today, but 
I'm going in with that, just kind of slowly building it up. I learned a long time ago that you can really, really mess up your face if you go in with too much product when you're trying to bronze or contour. So I'm just slowly building this shade up just to see if it creates any depth or any shadow. And it definitely did. I did not have to use a lot of product, but, and it wasn't super, super harsh. It was just really nice. And I'm kind of using it more of a contour just because I want to see how it's going to show up. Now I want to go into Epic, which is the darkest shade in the palette. Of course, what I would use for the contour just to see how it is going to perform. And as you can see, it's definitely creating a nice deep shadow on my face. And you guys, I barely tapped into this color. So with using this palette, you definitely need to be careful because it is very pigmented. But I'm really, really loving the shadow that it casts on my face, the contour that it created for my cheeks and my jawline. I think it worked out really well. So now for the blush, which is red carpet. I am really, really, really going in gentle with this color, you guys. I did not want to have red blush all over my face. So once again, I barely tapped into the palette and just slowly built that red up on my cheekbones and just kind of like the apple of my cheek. And as you can see, it builds up really, really nicely. It's a gorgeous shade. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful blush and compliment in this palette. Now I'm going in with this Skin & Co Truffle Therapy Illuminating Mist. I like to spray my face sometimes before I highlight, just to set my makeup and make that highlight pop. So now I'm trying out the shade LA and at first I didn't think it was showing up as you can see so I really started going ham with it but it was definitely showing up so as a result I'm extremely highlighted today but I'm not mad at it. It's really really nice. So I went ahead and highlighted my nose just to complete this look you guys. So I really like this palette. I like both of these palettes the eyeshadow palette and the face palette. I think it created a beautiful look today. If you're interested in this face palette, I would say it's definitely worth the money. It is gorgeous and I really enjoyed using it today. So I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me to check out these two palettes today. I will see you in my next video. Toodles!